Greetings everybody. So today I'm going to install some LED lights on the back of my bedroom TV. Now I did a video featuring how you can set up your theater lights. So you might want to check that out if you're interested in setting up theater lights for your living room setup. But this one is going to focus on the bedroom TV. I'm going to show you how easy and simple it is to set this one up right after this. Okay, so this one is going to be a simple setup. So let's head over to the back of the TV. I'm going to switch the TV around because it's facing me right now. So I'm going to switch it around so you can see the back of it so I can show you how I'm installing it. Okay, so to make this possible, first you're going to need to get to the back of the TV. Now if your TV is close to the wall or even mounted on the wall, somehow you have to get it off the wall or get it away from the wall so you can get to the back. Luckily mine is on a TV stand so I can just flip it around so I can see the back of the TV. So the first thing I wanna do is get rid of all the dust that builds up on the back of the TV, just sitting there and clean it off enough to where I can stick the LED strip around it. Then you wanna grab the LED strips. Now in this box, which I'll leave a link to it, it's a very simple setup. And uh, I'm gonna show you what's in the box to be honest with you. So in the box, I got a roll of the LED strips. Now this one said it should fit a TV anyway from 43 inch to I think 55 inch. So my brand of LED strips that I like to use is made by Gofi. I use them in my studio setup and I'm gonna use them on the back of this TV. Okay, so now let's open this thing and see what's on the inside. So first thing on top is some paperwork. Put that to the side. And then we got the roll of strips. It usually come in a roll like this because I've used these kind of strips before. And we got some more paperwork in this box. We got this little white box. Let's see what's in the... Oh, it does come with a power adapter. So if I need to use the power adapter to power the strips, I got a power adapter to come with it. But I'm gonna power mine into the USB port because it's a much cleaner installation. So here's the cable that you're gonna use to actually hook it up to the USB port. But before I do that, let me double check because even though I said I'm gonna plug it up to USB port, it might not be capable. So let me double check. This actual switch require a five volt, two amp. I'm not really qualified to use my USB port on the back of my TV. I guess I'll be using the trusty adapter that came with it. That's fine, I can run the wires down to the back of the TV and still keep them out of the way without them interfering with the aesthetic look, if you know what I mean. Some strips do have lower amps where you can actually plug into a USB port. So you just have to check out the specs when you're shopping online. So let's see what else is in the box. So the last thing in the box is these clips. These clips are what you're gonna use to connect to the back of the TV like this. So you can line the strips up and they, you know, they stay in place. But the strip does have a sticky back so you can peel off the little paper paste it on the back and you don't have to worry about it falling off. So I'm just going to start laying out the strip right here and see what it looks like as far as getting it on the back of the TV. The good thing about these, they're powered by your voice assistant. Now I personally try to look for things that works through my voice assistant because I like to set up routines and to let things happen all at once and I can't do that if the device is not voice assistant enabled. So let's get the show on the road. Now I'm looking at the back of the TV here so the power strip is gonna be on this side because when you flip the TV around, you know this side is gonna end up over there and this side is gonna end up on this side. So I'm gonna suggest that you start right here. You might have to make a cut into the, you know, the little tape right here and then start peeling from here instead of from the end. Because if you try to peel from the end, you're gonna run into a little issue, run into this tag that has the electronic information that basically is telling you the voltage and stuff like that. So start right here and you should be good to go if you do get these strips. Okay, now be careful when you cut these strips because uh, you don't wanna mess it up. If you do cut them because you can cut these strips, they have markers. And right here we see this little gold part with the scissors and the line going through is where you can actually cut these strips. But I wouldn't cut them anywhere else or is it gonna damage that section? And if you damage anything beyond this point, well, this entire roll right here is not gonna work because you need to connect this to the power adapter. So now I'm gonna so I'm gonna peel it on and stick it to the back of the TV and just go around. So you can just watch me as I do this.
So we're going to connect this part right here to the strip. There's only one way to put it. You really can't get it wrong. As you can see, it's working. Now, as you can see, I can cycle to all the different colors, but I can also connect it to the app on my phone, which I already have installed because I have a set of these lights already in my studio. There you go, folks. That's the final look. The TV is back in place. I turned off all the lights so you can see what it looks like in the dark. And now all I have to do is set up the app. So let's proceed to that. Okay, so now that the strip is installed and we got the TV back in place, now it's time to add the strip to the app so I can control it remotely without actually going back there and flipping that switch. That's behind the back of the TV stand right now because that's way too much work. So let's go straight to the app. So the app is called Govi Home. So we're gonna click on that. Right now I have my studio strips installed but I need to add these bedroom strips to it. So I'm gonna click the plus sign in the top right corner. Uh, you need to go to the box to find out which brand do you have. So my model number is H6182. So I'm gonna search for that instead of trying to find it on the list. H6182. There it is, it popped up on the top of the list. I'm gonna click the plus sign. Make sure the Bluetooth on your phone is on because that's how it's gonna find the strip. So since it found a strip, I'm gonna click that one. It's gonna make the connection. Now that it made the connection, now it's time to rename it because I don't wanna go by that name when I'm trying to tell my voice assistant to turn on the bedroom strips. So we're gonna call it bedroom TV strip. Okay, so everything is all good and connected. You need to have it connected to your Wi-Fi because that's how your voice assistant is gonna able to control that strip. Okay, so now that everything is set up, the only thing I have to do now is to make sure that my Amazon voice assistant can talk to the strips because there's nothing else really I can do here. I can adjust the brightness, set a timer, change the different mode colors and all that stuff. Okay, so before we start playing with the voice assistant changing the color, let's do a little play around with this app so you can see what it looks like. So let me dim the lights down and adjust the camera so you can see that light show. Okay, so first we're gonna adjust the brightness. So let's turn that down and you see it adjusts every time I do it. You can set a timer which I'm not gonna do right now. Then you can do some DIY stuff, which is almost like setting up routine. The modes, you got color mode, you got scene, and then you got music. So let's put it on music. So as you can see, every time I talk, you see it responds to those noise. And then you put it back in color mode. The color mode, you can choose different color. See, as I click it, it changes. Below that, you have like a scale that you can choose different colors from if you just slide it up and down the scale if you want to. But you can just choose, like I say, a solid color. And then you got the warmness. So you can make it warm white or you can make it cool white. It all depends on how you want it. There's the cool white. So you got all those different settings you can play with. Then at the bottom, you got the color wheel. So Depend on where you slide it on the color wheel, it's going to change to that particular color. Let's go back to the solid color. Now to the right of color, you have scenes. So you have all these different scenes you can change it in. You got movie mode, you got dating mode, candlelight, and the candlelight mode kind of flickers almost like a real candle would. You know, it tried to mimic it. Then you got the romantic mode. So that's going to be a solid red for you. Then you got the breathing mode. Then you have the blinking mode where it's just going to blink different colors. That's all it's going to do. Energetic mode. So as you can see, it's just flickering the colors a little bit faster than the actual blinking mode. So those are the different modes that you can fiddle around with. And all I have to do now is just tell my voice assistant to control the lights uh, let me take it off this so you can get the one solid color. There we go. But my goal is not to control the lights through the app because the app is going to be my backup. I want everything to be controlled to my voice assistant. Okay, so let's test to see if I already recognize this new device. Change bedroom TV strips to green. Okay. Change bedroom TV strips to blue. Okay. Change bedroom strips to red. Okay. Okay, as you can see that she was responding to the different color choices that I was giving her. So now that the app is connected and my voice assistant is connected, 
Now all I have to do is just put it in a routine. So I'm just going to do a simple routine to show you how it's done. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go into your Amazon app. After you get into the app as usual, you want to click the three lines on the left. You want to go to routines. So I have a routine already set up for this TV to come on when it's time for me to go to bed. So what I'm going to do instead of creating a brand new routine, I'm going to look for that routine in particular and then add the TV LED strips to it. So the routine that I'm looking for is called bedtime. There it is. So in my bedroom routine, I got the bedroom TV turning on and then the light at 50%. Plus I have it doing some other stuff in that bedroom routine, but we're going to focus on the bedroom section. So I'm going to click the plus sign and then I'm going to go down to device, smart home device that is, and then I'm going to do lights. Then I just need to go down and find the bedroom TV strip. There it is right there on the list, already found. And then I'm going to click next. And then I want it to power on. Then I want the brightness to be at 50%. That's fine. I'm going to set the color to blue. Blue is my color, but you know what? I'm going to change it up this time. I'm going to set it to purple. And then I'm going to click next. And then I'm going to click next again. So as you can see, it's been added to the list. So now I have the TV strip included in this bedroom routine. So it's going to turn it on at 50% and set the color to purple. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. I wanted to go through the entire procedure of showing you how to install your smart LED light strip on the back of your TV, then add it to the app and then connect it to your voice assistant and then add it to a routine that you might already have set up for your bedroom setup when you go to bed at night or you can just create a brand new routine. And if you haven't done a routine before, I have links to videos that I've done of how to even set up a routine. So check it out in the description. Also in the description is gonna be a link to these LED strips that I personally use not just on my TV, but also in the studio. And I recommend these because they work real well, they're smart home enable, and they don't break your pocket. Okay, so that's it. If you have any question about anything in this video, leave it in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for taking the time for watching this video. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.